What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another tech tip. And if you're anything like me, you'd give anything for that perfect file structure. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna actually show you how to rename your files in an efficient manner. Check it out. So just like anything with Microsoft, there's always multiple ways to get to where you're going or to do what you want to do. In this case, I'm gonna show you the most efficient way it is to rename your actual files with the uh, simple one press of the button on your keyboard. So you can open up any folder, any folder that you want to, any file that you want to, to practice this on a couple of them. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the file explorer down here, and I'm gonna go into my pictures folder. And as you can see, I've got three different folders in here. I have camera roll, save pictures, and then I have a picture of when we were in Cancun that has just a bunch of numbers, and I wanna rename that to actually something that, that I'll be able to remember or be able to find easier. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to want to left click on it one time. What that will do, as you can see, it is put a blue highlight box around the actual picture, and then you're gonna hit F2 on the keyboard. Now you'll notice that the text underneath that specific file or that picture has turned blue or is highlighted blue. This indicates that you are in edit mode. And then from here, I can go ahead and name it whatever I want. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and name it Cancun 2017. And then there's also two ways to confirm that. You can hit the enter key on your keyboard or you can just left click off of it and you'll notice that the actual file has been renamed. And that's it, pretty straightforward. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the, in the comment section below the video there. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And of course, just one more quick thing before you go, what kind of tips and tricks do you use for your file structure? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video and we will see you next time.